Yeah, what's up, y'all? It's your boy. I'm back. Uh, we're here to talk about NBA 2K22 Season 8. Now, let me be clear. I was not expecting 2K to move mountains. I was not expecting them to drop the biggest ball or the 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 in, most insane amount of rewards at the end of a, a season, to be honest. Like, we're almost into NBA 2K23 territory, yet we have not heard any news. July is right around the corner. We should start hearing news probably within the next week or two, um, maybe even leaks within the next three weeks. Really not sure. You know, most of the time, Chinese outlets and stuff like that, news outlets, always giving up to tea. So hopefully, you know, we'll get some of those things. But for right now, 2K decided to hold on to all of the information for Season 8 at the last second. If you guys notice, if you're on Reddit, if you're on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever the case may be, a lot of news for Season 8 didn't even drop. The All the leaked Twitter pages are in, like, fluster, not knowing what's going on. Nobody's DMing about this stuff. Nobody's inquiring about this information. But 2K decided to drop a new season of content, which is surrounded in all gold everything. Now, we're going to go over that stuff in the next few minutes. Um, this video isn't going to be that long. I just want to say that I knew that 2K was kind of like at the end of the road. They already have all of the analytical data that they need for NBA 2K23 when it comes to rewards and seasons. So hopefully they do bring out something better, something more innovative, something with a lot more rewards for next year's game. But as it goes for season eight, they gave us shoes that make us run faster. Yeah, um, I know it hurts. Uh, it's something called Dash 2K sneakers. Um, I'm not sure if they are an off-brand sneaker. I really can't tell because of how fast they move in a clip. If I slowed it down, I probably could see, but most likely they're a shoe either made by 2K or they're some type of maybe Adidas with wings or so something. It's something with wings that I did see, but I'm not really impressed. I'm not really happy about that. Um, that is the level 40 reward as far as level 30 reward goes They're just giving us another skin to the go-kart So for all my people out there that can't afford to go-kart can't buy a go-kart don't have a go-kart This one right here might be your season to get yourself a go-kart because they're releasing the slime version of it Which means if you don't have one you will have one by the end of the season now, uh, we're going to go ahead and hop into the information. I'm going to read it out. Um, to be honest with you, this courtside report from 2K is mainly NBA 2K My Team content. It's not really too much crazy park my career content, but more so in-game type of content for my, uh, my team. So we're going to talk all about it, but uh, let's hop into the video, man. King Kong. King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong. All right, so let's talk about season eight and the courtside report. Um, basically, in season eight, they are surrounding Shaquille O'Neal and his dominance in the NBA of becoming an all-time great. Now, of course, like I told you guys before, this is all about gold, everything, right? All gold, everything. I'm talking, I'll tell you all about it. But basically, they want you to try to chase championship glory in season eight i'm not sure how we're going to do that playing rec and park maybe they will drop quests and events that will allow us to get some type of rewards of course with the quests and stuff like that it's always something different every season so hopefully there's something there but let's go ahead and get into the, um, the information. Basically, they're telling you all about Shaquille O'Neal and what he's done as being one of the all-time greats. Um, basically, I'm not going to go through that. I'm just going to tell you guys about the rewards, all right? So, as far as my career updates go, basically, this is a seven-second cl clip of the sneakers that we get at level 40, as well as showing us the outfit from the Season 8 rewards. Now, basically... I know for sure, since this is another shoe, it has to be in partnership with Adidas. If you guys remember, we got RGB sneakers, which were Adidas shell tops um, that we used to, you know, wear in a wreck and stuff like that from one of the seasons. 
And if you look in this clip, these sneakers do have wings on them. What I'll do is I'll actually change the playback speed real fast so you guys can actually see it, you know, slower. Now, I believe that these are the sneakers that are made by Adidas that have the wings on them. I've seen them in a money version, a gold version, always on like, you know, Adidas, um, was it Adidas confirmed or something like that. So I believe that these sneakers will be in season four. I mean, I'm sorry, season eight for uh, our level 40 reward. Plus, I'm not sure, but it says something pretty weird. Now, um, before, I'm going to tell you guys about that in a second as we scroll down in, in the information. But basically, if you guys look here, this information is about all gold everything, right? So I'm guessing throughout the season the quest everything like that you will obtain different gold items they said that there are gold goggles in season eight which i believe is a w but i hope that these goggles can be used in a wreck i hope they can be used in a park inside the stage inside pro-am i want these gold goggles to be able to be used anywhere that we play um gold basketball jersey sound like a w gold long shorts that's a, a, a soft W. If they had them in the short shorts, it would be a W. Um, gold arm sleeve, a W if it comes with attributes on it. Um, a gold hat, a gold t-shirt, and a gold suit, they pretty much L's to me. I won't never wear those. But I do know some people that used to play like Gold Rush and stuff like that love the gold items in the game. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Bruh, we had that in Gold Rush. Like, they not really innovative. They not really doing what they supposed to do. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's season eight. We got one more season left. We have 12 weeks of rewards left from 2K until NBA 2K23 comes out. I knew that they weren't going to like open up the floodgates with something brand spanking new that nobody has ever seen before. 2K has gotten all of their analytical data as far as rewards and season pass type stuff go. So for NBA 2K23, 2K, I'm hoping that you take all of the data that you have received from us for the first six, seven seasons to say, you know what, we got everything we need. We're going to come out with a better uh, season pass type setup, going to come out with better rewards, and we're going to make sure that we get the community jumping on the next iteration of the game. But moving on. They have the go-kart coming back. For all those people who have never gotten a go-kart, never gotten a, like any skin for one, that means you don't own one. So this is the season for you to get a go-kart at level 30. So if you don't have a go-kart, you're not really feeling the level 40 reward, you can grind a level 30, get a go-kart, have that. And if you don't want to grind level 40 or you don't want to hit legend, you don't technically have to. But me, I'm the type of gamer that loves a challenge and loves daily tasks on a video game so i'm gonna hit level 40 regardless and just to let you guys know only on next gen i do not play last gen at all i don't play on ps4 i don't play on xbox one all right now um they're talking about the level 40 sneaker right i know i'm moving along with this information it's because i've read it i've digested it and now i'm just spitting it out to you guys so these level 40 sneakers are called dash 2k ones shoes if anybody remembers 2k did a uh, type of, I guess you could say, collaboration with PlayStation and uh, Paul George, right? They came out with a sneaker, which was the PG-13s or something like that. I forgot what them things was called, but I remember getting a pair. Um, basically, the Dash 2K1 shoes may be a shoe that not only comes out in game, but may drop IRL. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, Pod. You always think in 2K can do the hottest things, the best things, the dopest things. Yes, I believe in gaming companies. I believe that the creators of these games can venture product out into the real world instead of it only being digital content so i'm hoping that 2k with their partnership with adidas hopefully they do drop a fire sneaker i'm just hoping that that's just me all right i'm hoping that they do do that now moving on all oh, you my team players la 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 in game ooh, whole bunch of content ooh. i don't care <laughs> i do not care we don't care. All of us, my career players, all of us, park players, rec players, pro am players, we really like don't care about my team. But there is a lot of my team content dropping. Um, in game cards, um, I'm going to start you guys off with uh, Jokic. 
Jokic has a 99 overall card dropping. I'm guessing this is when he, um, one of his MVP years, of course. But um, I'm guessing that's an MVP card with him, back-to-back -back MVPs, as we can see. Um, then they got a James Harden card that's dropping 99 overall Houston Rockets, as you can see, because he ain't really did much as a sixer. Um, but moving on, they have Dark Matter uh, cards coming, Invincible cards coming, uh, Chris Webber, Isaiah Thomas, like they got Dominique Wilkins, Julius. It's, it's a bunch of content for my team. My team, they always get good content, bro, because their stuff is easy to weed out. Okay, we're going to give them cards. We're going to give them boosts. We're going to give them this, that, and the third. Like they, they, can, they, can, they can get content forever. It's so many basketball players in the NBA, you know, past or present or future that my team will always get great content man it's just that simple um but yeah so also they have a decade of my team they're celebrating of course 2k12 is when my team first came out and they're celebrating that with 10 years of that and of with a duo kobe and brian and uh shaquille o'neal card i'm guessing they're probably dark matter cards and stuff like that um then they got in-game option packs and stuff like that my team, they always get everything. <laughs> they always get the hot stuff. Um, the W online. Let me just say that 2K, this is a W. Um, you guys have consistently showed innovation and in trying to make the W online experience better for gamers that want to play the W online. And I just want to say thank you because they're, that could have been a mode that you guys came out with and just let it go. Just they, maybe dropped a couple fixes for it. But just let it play its own way. You guys have consistently kept innovating it and trying to make things better in the W Online experience. And I'm glad that you guys are going to do that. And I, and I hope that you keep doing that with every 2K that you guys drop. Um, low profile slash casual records. Um, basically, a woman-owned music licensing and consulting agency um, is partnering up with casual record label and they got some they got some heat coming so you know what i'm saying you can check out all them artists and stuff like that listen on the game if you want to i can't copyright reasons of course um then they got 2k beats to search still looking for soundcloud rappers and they got more track lists coming out so you know shout out to the rappers that are actually getting in the game on the track list big shout out to y'all like i'm I, if don't nobody else say it I'm going to say keep grinding, keep doing what you're doing, because obviously you're doing something right. Keep grinding, y'all. Closing remarks, really not worried about that. The only thing I am worried about is go ahead and do this. Make sure you do the survey. If you are a consumer of NBA 2K and their sports game, please do the survey. Tell 2K about themselves. Tell them what you like. Tell them what you don't like. Tell them what you even may want in the game. Please voice your opinions. Don't troll over Twitter. Don't troll on Reddit. Don't troll on Instagram and TikTok. Surveys. We need to start doing these surveys so that 2K can make a better game. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry to say. It's just, it just is what it is. You feel me? But with that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, make sure that you guys hit the like button. It's free. Um, it actually helps me do things that I want to do off platform as well, like work with companies. You know what I mean? Put my kids through school. So go ahead and hit that like button. You feel me? But as far as this 2K news video go, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Keep it all the way 100 with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to sugarcoat y'all comments and all that. Let me know how y'all feel about these rewards. Let me know how you feel about the direction of 2K. Let me know what you guys are thinking about NBA 2K23 and if you'll be playing it. Because I've been seeing in my comment section a lot lately that a lot of people want to boycott. They don't want to play it. They, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a lot going on. So, I want to get how you guys really feel about the game. All right? And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace. You better be our pod, you better be shake. Rub with Jay-Z and Bruce or get baked. Right after the loss, your team got away.